Hey! Hi! Did you see Obi got his hair cut for this video? <laughs> I did, nice I did. Shorter on the yep. side. Yep. Yeah, so we're talking yes. about the moon. Why, do you, why are we talking about the moon? Because there's a full moon coming. Oh, that's right. <laughs> there is. So, um, we're going to talk about full moon specifically. What does that mean? So, moon, moon is rotating around Earth. But it is tidally locked with Earth. What that means is, uh, as it is rotating, uh, we only see see its one side or, or half of the moon because uh, its speed of rotating around itself and the speed at which it rotates around Earth is same. So as it's turn, if this is Earth and this is Moon, as it's turning around Earth, it's turning around itself as well. So its same side always faces Earth. So we don't see the other side of the moon ever Which from Which is Earth. why there's a dark side of the moon. Dark side of the moon, yep. Mm -hmm. Now, so what I was saying was uh, during the full moon, so maybe your hand is sun, you know, that's sun. And this is Earth and this is moon. When, when they are in line like this, in this sequence where sun, then Earth and then moon, the light from coming from sun completely falls on the side that is facing Earth. So we see the full moon glowing ah. now now if this is on the other side as it's rotating around the earth if the moon is first so sun moon and then the earth they're in this line what the the you the 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 side on your your side is is dark because it's under the shadow and the light is falling on the other side of the moon which is the dark side of the moon that we don't see but basically it's light is falling on that side and that's why we see just a dark shadow. We don't see... Moon. And why we see like a little sliver like on a new moon and things yeah, like that? Yeah, then, then as it's moving, we start to it see a little bit of... Bigger. Yeah, start to see a little bigger and bigger pieces of it as the light falls on bigger and bigger slice of the side that faces Earth. So, that's how, you, when you look at the moon, mm -hmm. you know, like a new moon when it's a sliver, yep. that's why. Because it's the sun, yep. the moon, yep. and then Earth. Yep. And then when it's a full moon... Yep. The moon's way over here, the sun's over here, yep. and then we're shining a light yep. on the bright side. Absolutely. So it's basically yes. shining over the top of the moon. Yes, yes. Okay. And and then uh, what happens is when it's full moon, it's on the other side. So as as now Earth is rotating around itself, uh, that's what causes day and night. But as as Earth is rotating, as the sun sets, so so on the on the edges where the, this is the edge of sunrise, this is the edge of sunset. So as the as the sun set, the people start seeing moon at the same time. So sun and moon are exactly on the opposite side. So as the sun is setting, the moon is rising during the full moon. So that's also why when you Google when is the full moon, sometimes it says, oh, it's March 31st or it's April 1st. It's on two different days. Because yes. the sun is here, but people yeah. are viewing it in different time zones. Does that make sense? Or is that totally goofy? I don't know. I don't. I think it's a little bit goofy. <laughs> it's 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 uh, new moon is or, or full moon is pretty much uh, always uh, same around entire Everyone. planet. Yeah. But it might be if it's Tuesday here, it might be Wednesday oh, in yeah. Australia. Yeah. Yeah. That that's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. It, if it's Tuesday here, it's Wednesday or, or Some, something. Yeah. Like or else Monday. Yeah. Somewhere else. Yep. yep. Okay. So what would happen if the moon didn't exist? If moon didn't exist, uh, so moon is thought out to be a part of one of the theories or or, or one of the one of the uh, belief or theory is moon was originally part of the earth itself and it was like broken off and uh, from the earth long time ago and uh, if the the for, for for the human existence. The moon has a good impact on the weather patterns on the earth, like like how tides we talked about, and then ocean, and then uh, because of that, because of the tides and 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 ocean, there is weather, there is there is water, there is rain, all that stuff. So the moon so, has been controlling the weather long before the government was. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, moon moon has been controlling a lot of things on Earth. Yes, it, dun, dun, dun. it's the it's the closest huge body uh, of mass uh, near Earth. So yes, 
Yeah, moon is very important for Earth. Now, other planets have multiple moons. So, Jupiter has plenty of them. So, does that make Jupiter more special than Earth? No, no. No, Jupiter, Saturn, all those have Because, you know, boys go to Jupiter to get more stupider. Have you heard that? I have not heard that. Yeah. Okay. Girls go to Mars to get more candy bars, but boys go to Jupiter to get more stupider. Was that Venus and Mars? No, I don't know. (laughs) I don't know. Yeah. There's not many things that are appropriate that rhyme with Venus. So, <laughs> so let's just move on from there. But, okay, so how in the world is it that the moon moves mm-hmm. the tides? So, or the waves? Right. So, so moon, moon has its own gravitational pull, and, and, and Earth has its own gravitational pull. So as, as Earth is rotating, because uh, simi- o- consider ocean as a big uh, bowl of water. It's like 70% is, is water on Earth. So there's huge water on the surface of the Earth. Now, as Earth is rotating, uh, it has already have some motion to that water, right? I mean, it's it's moving with Earth. Now, Kind of like if you had... Okay. Yeah. So like if there was no lid on this yeah. bottle of water yeah. and it's going like this, yeah. walking around yeah. in a circle, right. it would wiggle. So right. even without a moon, yeah. the tides it, would still uh, kind of... Yeah, it, it but it will be more uh, uniform. Mm. But what happens because of the moon? Now, now there is a strong body here that is attracting all the fluid or weather pattern and all that the air around it to to it. You know, so whenever moon is here, it's like attracting like the a magnet. yeah, like a magnet is attracting the water. So, so what happens is. As 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 the earth rotates, the water kind of trails, you know, oh. because it gets stuck with the moon's force, and and that's what causes tides. So then, as it goes past, because Earth is stronger, Earth is much bigger, and it has much more pull. But if if Earth if Moon was bigger, a lot bigger, the water would probably just flow all over the surface of the Earth because because of its pull, you know. Or something like that, but uh, because Moon is very small and Earth has a lot of uh, gravity, it just manages to keep the water into that very small tides, you know, not I not see. huge or long tides, big tides, you know. So like, Earth and Moon mm-hmm. are parents of a toddler, right? Yeah. Or like no, no. So I'm I'm Earth. Mm-hmm. I'm Mother. I'm Mother Earth. Okay. And um. So this is our little baby, Buddha, and you're the moon, and you're like, and I'm like, hey, we gotta go, and, but he's like, but dad's more fun, yeah. Yeah. right? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. like yeah. that. Like, I'm pulling it, yeah. but, but it wants to go strong. with you. It wants no. to go with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because you're a fun guy. Yeah. Yeah, All okay. Right. Yeah. I kind of get it. I think yeah. I get it. So yeah. Mother Earth is like, come on, yeah. but the, but the, but the moon is more attractive. Yeah, okay. The, the moon is more fun, because mom okay. makes you clean your room. And then, yeah, yeah it goes Got it. with the, yeah. Yeah, but it, it sways that way a little bit, and yeah. then it realizes, wait, but yeah. mom also makes me dinner. Yep. So At some point, the fun runs. is over. Yeah. Okay, yes. cool. So that's what causes tides, yeah. And because uh, moon doesn't rise or set at the, at the same time, like, uh, it doesn't si- uh, rise every night at 8 p.m. Or, or something like that, uh, because of that, the tide times also vary, because... Uh, when moon is on on the side of the ocean, the tides will be different at different places. So, because as Earth is rotating, now Pacific Ocean has moon pulling it. Then Atlantic Ocean has moon pulling it. Then Indian Ocean has moon pulling it. So, the tides are at different places at different times based on where is moon. And like tsunamis and things come from underwater volcanoes and earthquakes. Right. But not Not from the moon. moon. Okay, so then, being that we are humans, mm-hmm. made mostly out of water, yep. that, from an astrological standpoint, could be why they say the crazies come out on the full moon. Yeah, that's yeah. possible. Because we're just drawn out of our homes, yep. into the streets, yep. to be chaotic. Yep. But we cannot blame things on the full moon, then, because you just said it doesn't cause tsunamis and things yep. like that on its own. So if you become an emotional shit show on your own, you can't blame it on the moon. It's only a little the moon's fault. Yeah, it's it's only a little bit of the moon's fault. 
<laughs> okay. One study that I read said mm. that people do not actually act crazier during a full moon. It's just that more people leave their homes on a full moon. More people go out at night on a full moon. Is that because it's easier to see? I, I think so, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, that's what I would guess, yeah. Uh, uh, as an astronomer, though, I don't go out on full moon. I go out on new moon because when it's full moon, you just don't see other stars much. Because it's so bright. Yeah, because it's so bright in the sky. So then when the new moon is out and you know it's like kind of dimmer you can everything yeah. else is a little brighter yep and from an astrological standpoint that's beautiful because yeah. a full moon is all about like getting rid of things yes so mm. you can't see everything else mm. and you probably shouldn't see it any yeah. anymore yeah. right that's when the full moon is out but a new yeah. moon is all about inviting new wonderful things into your life yeah which you're doing when you go look at it that's yes. adorable yes and and so full moon just uh overshadows or, or overpowers all the other things at night sky that it does and in do your that. life yeah you know things that have to go stress negativity shitty people they do kind of overtake and overpower your life so full moon rituals to get rid of yeah. things that no longer serve you that's that's actually a beautiful um synergy there okay so werewolves are they real <laughs> I know it's not it's not an astronomy question, but it has a lot to do with the moon because yeah. werewolves would change on a full moon. Yes, uh, I don't think so. No, no. <laughs> Where do you think I, that I, I, I've watched uh, uh, Twilight. Twilight. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's that's a good moon. <laughs> Did you watch the whole series? I think so. Yeah, I watched it. Yeah. All of them. Yeah, maybe not in sequence, but I've watched all mm. of them. Yeah, Jacob or uh, what's the other guy? Did you the wolf or the vampire? Uh, I I would say wolf. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're a moon guy. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. I would say neither. Okay. I would say that full moon came. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she should have just dished them both because that's a whole <laughs> lot of drama for a human being. Oh yeah, I don't. Right? Think yeah, drama. yeah. Forget that. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um. So they say that sometimes the moon can affect people's sleep cycles. New moon. It's it's uh, it's out during daytime so you might feel i don't know sleepy or something because, because oh because it, you can see the moon during the day during the daytime you you since the earth yeah. is shining yeah. on it yeah. all day yeah and uh, so but the full moon is out the whole night so maybe your sleep cycles might get some people's sleep cycle might get impacted because of that yeah. and maybe just because it's brighter so it's hard to sleep when I worked in medicine, they say, like, all the crazies come out. Or there's more, like, injuries or more accidents on a full mm -hmm. moon. So we always thought it was kind of, like, scary or bad. But then there's this other handful of people who, yeah. think, it's, who think it's lucky. Yeah. So being that we're mostly water, the moon then um, can maybe pull our emotions. Because water represents yeah. emotions in tarot mm -hmm. and in, you know, the, the spirit world. Yeah. So... So can we blame the moon for our emotions, potentially? Because I think we like to blame things yeah. on everybody else yeah. or on other yeah. things, right? Yeah. Like it's Mercury retrograde right now? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I'm just going to blame everything on that. Okay. I had a headache last week, a migraine. I blamed okay. it on solar flares. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, because yeah, we don't want to take responsibility for our own choices or lives. Yep. So I, I guess what, maybe what they want to see, what they want to know yeah. from you, is what exactly do you think we could blame on the moon? I I think this, um, I mean, like like we discussed the the full moon and its effect, and so where where it gets uh, a little, little tricky for someone from astronomical or or science point of view is is the emotion. No one has able to define or, or study emotions in a sense of science. I mean, there are psychiatrists and psychologists and things like that. But but it's it's still it's kind subjective. of... Yeah, it's it's very subjective and, and uh, no, it's very hard to know what will trigger your emotion, right? Someone get... Someone might get sad because of sunset. I don't know. Someone <laughs> <That's true>. might... <laughs> <laughs> might get sad because of something else, you know. So same way, I I, I would say there's there's possible. So any that correlation the, yeah. to the moon is probably 
just um, us wanting to blame it on something. Uh, yeah, and and but but like like I said, it it does impact things on Earth. So so when it's full moon, uh, probably uh, the bugs that likes light they come out more. You know, mm-hmm. but on new moon the the bugs or or the birds or whatever bats who like darkness they come out more. You know. That actually makes good and, sense from an astrological yeah. standpoint too. So maybe certain signs have it harder or easier yeah. during a full moon. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Because I have one client in specific. So yes. hi, hi. Because you'll know who you are. That she, um, she says, "Oh, I always thrive in a Mercury retrograde," and I'm like, "Awesome!" Because you're the only one. Mm-hmm. The rest of us are dying. <laughs> <laughs> but so that makes maybe makes some sense then. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so the awkward question. Mm-hmm. Some people get their periods on full moons or new moons. Okay. And so how in the world, and it's like, like mm-hmm. just magically happens that way. And like a menstrual cycle is like mm-hmm. 28 days on average, like same as a lunar cycle. Yeah. What's that about? I was wondering if there's like a reason why, why some people just sync up with the moon. Because, like, females, if they're next to each other, like, all the time, they spend a lot of time to, they're like iPhones, right? Like, they just, like, sync all the time, like, yeah. to each other. They're file sharing. Okay. So, like, if if I spent a lot of time with a specific girl, we'd have the same cycle. Like, one of ours would change. So, that's why I was wondering about the moon. <laughs> I have very little, little um, uh, that's very okay. little it's not knowledge your fault. with it. Yeah, yeah, that's not your fault. Yeah. Okay, so this is interesting. It says that the moon causes more blood loss. Is it because blood is liquid and so it wants to go with the moon? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So don't cut yourself on, <laughs> on a full moon. So, so, I, I, so I, I, I always thought that planets represented uh, your emotions too, right? One, uh, Mars is a planet of something, right? I think it's of um, yeah. fight of uh, courage or determination yeah. or war, yeah. war. Yeah. Yeah. So, and Venus is the one of love. Yeah. Yeah. So so as as these planets are are in the in the sky now, Moon as it's rotating around Earth, it kind of starts to block them one by one, as as we see <laughs> from Earth, right? I mean, not not really one so by one, but basically. So when you're feeling really unloved. It's because yeah. the moon is blocking Might Venus. Be blocking Venus, yeah. 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 And, and, I mean, that's, uh, I've, I've heard that a lot in, in the astrological sense where I've heard people say, oh, now your moon and, um, say, Mars are in the same house or the same, um, same zodiac sign. And that, that makes people... Um, do or behave differently, or, or different things happen with them. So that's that, that's that's just because, uh, as we discussed, there are twelve zodiac signs. If the Mars is in that, and then the Moon comes in that during its twenty eight, twenty nine day cycle, if it comes in that again, so it, then it'll just like block it. Yeah, it'll keep it from expressing. Its, right, right. Its it, it'll b- block its its uh, light. So sometimes right? we can blame the Moon for things yeah. then maybe not because of the moon itself but because the moon is an asshole <laughs> kind of just moving around the earth yeah. inhibiting you from the things that you want right yeah. so you might be like really lucky on your dating app and then the moon moves right in front of venus, venus. and you have a bad bad experience and then yeah. it's okay again and it makes you feel bipolar yeah. but you're not yeah. okay so yeah. that was another thing is um I read somewhere that the moon makes, like, people with bipolar uh, disorder have, like, their symptoms exaggerated. They feel in, more intensely, you know, elated or more intensely depressed. Hmm. Interesting. Do you want to know about eclipse? Uh, okay. Because that happens with the moon. So, so like we discussed, the sun is here, Earth is here, and Moon is here. Now, they're, they're really, really tiny and in terms of how big Sun is, and they're very, very far, you know. 
So the sunlight still shines on moon. But when it's perfectly aligned, like, like it's not up and down a little bit, it's perfectly aligned, and they are all in exact of same line. Oh, okay. What happens is Earth shadow falls on the moon, and that becomes the red moon, or we, we don't see it because of the Earth shadow. Or it gets, even though it's supposed to be full moon, till the time it's passing through the shadow, it becomes darker or red in color, and, and that becomes solar uh, lunar eclipse right now if it's on the other side it's blocking sun during the day and that's a solar and eclipse. that's the solar eclipse if Super they're cool. in the exact same line so going back to twilight what were they talking about when they named a movie eclipse solar or lunar uh usually it will be <laughs> solar eclipse <laughs> i'm just kidding you don't have to know that so is is there a, is there a moon moon card in tarot or, or something? There the is. Moon? Okay. What, what do you think is the most important thing people need to know about the moon? So recently, NASA published the whole picture of the other side of the moon. Do you think it was real or doctored? Uh, I don't think it was doctored. It was nice to see it though because. It looks way different than what we see every full moon. So how does it look different? So like we see, right? We so there are valleys and 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 uh, like canyons, craters, craters yeah. on the moon. So when we look at it, we see like that bunny shape and and all that, right? On the other side, it looks more more uniform because that's the side that has kept. That's the other thing that that the because of the moon. A lot of uh, smaller asteroids and stuff like that has impacted on the moon and moon has attracted it and that has saved it from coming to Earth and then destroying the Earth, you know. So that's why there are so many craters on the moon that the things come in. And that's why in, things like Armageddon and movies like that have never really happened because the yeah. moon is like our bodyguard. Yeah, it's, it's like that, yeah. So, so on the other side of the moon, there are more craters and more stuff because it has come from that way, I guess. Neato. Yeah, because the front side now always faces Earth. So, we do need the moon. Yeah. Or we need a lot more Bruce Willis's. <laughs> yeah. Die Hard. I love Die Hard. <laughs> that one isn't about the moon, though. No. No, no. And uh, eventually, so that's again the physics. Eventually, everything, all the motion gets tidally locked. So eventually, Earth will get tidally locked to Sun. So that means eventually. So that means one half of the Earth will always be day, and the other half of the Earth will always be night. So it just like gets stuck. Gets stuck. Tidally so the Earth locked. will stop rotating. Earth will rotate around itself, but at the same speed as it's rotating around sun so it will oh. rotate around itself it's rotating around itself it will start slowing down slowing down slowing down so right now it's 24 hours for a day right right and and out of that we see 12 hours we see uh, sunshine. sunshine right uh, roughly but 24 hours is the is the day so it, it will start increasing and slowly slowly after thousands or maybe yeah, thousands of years it will be it will be 48 hours after millions of years it will be uh, 30 days after billions of years it can it will be exactly 365 Imagine days how much where... more work you'd be expected to get done in it <laughs> be horrible yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a 48 hour work day yeah. <laughs> and you have to move a lot because everybody would want to live where it's, like, always bright. Yeah. If it's always dark somewhere. Yeah. Or but maybe the, you'd want to live where it's always that's, dark. That's, 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 like, billions of years. Probably a sun will just blow up and eat Earth by before that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, that scary. happens, you know. Shh. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Just not, What's more it, it doesn't happen like overnight. A werewolf or the sun exploding? What's more likely? Sun. Like more, more likely 
happen? This year. What? This year? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Neither. I, I think Moon's line, why, why it resonates with, with a lot of folks, including myself, is... Uh, What's your moon sign, by the way? Scorpio. Scorp- <gasps> Same as mine. That's right. Yeah. You told me that. Yeah. So, I'm a Scorpio moon sign. And uh, it's... Uh, the sun signs are very predictable, right? I mean, it's it's like... It's, it's kind of more generalized and it's like... Okay, this day to this day, you're all whatever. And it's it's very generalized. Like, everybody is in that category, right? Whether When you're born in January, on this day, you'll be this. Moon signs are, because because of the timing, it's, it's like 28-day cycle for the moon uh, to rotate around Earth. It it adds more randomness and, and more... more uh, more uh, kind of yeah randomness to it and and so when you're born it's like it's it's more correlative to to that that it's it's you're you're born in a unique position where it's that day and the moon is there and the moon is in this sign you know and which which, which 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 doesn't happen again for a lot of years you know it's not like it happens Every year, like that, that moon on that day, combination. yeah, yeah, on first of Feb, moon was in, in let's say Scorpio. Then that's not going to happen for another few years. It doesn't happen next year. It won't be there on first of Feb. It it might be in somewhere else. And it, to sync that up again, it takes probably few decades again. So your moon sign is what makes you unique. Yeah, that's what makes I you unique. And that's why I think it resonates more. I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Because people always ask me, well, should I be watching these astrology readings? You know, mm-hmm. should I watch the tarot reading for my sun sign or my moon sign or my rising sign? Mm-hmm. And I think it, well, if it has to do with work, it's how, like, people view you, mm-hmm. do your rising sign. But for who you truly are, like, if you want to know about your love life or things like that, anything that you have any sort of emotion about, mm-hmm. watch your moon sign. And that makes sense to me because... Like, we make the majority of our decisions based on how we feel, right. our intuitive self, hence moon, right? Because mm-hmm. the moon represents intuition in tarot. Yeah. yeah. Like, because, for example, you might say, oh, the smart thing for me to do is take this job. You know, it's way more money than this other job. It's better hours. But if something doesn't feel right, yeah. you might not do it. Right. Right? That instinct. Yep. So your moon sign is really the most important sign, I think, yes. personally. Yeah. In your decision making, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I'd way rather be like a lion than um, a scorpion because bugs are gross. <laughs> but I do feel more Scorpio than Leo most of the time. Oh. Yeah. Your sun sign is? Is Leo. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!